गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट नाइट्रोजन साइकिल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट व्हाट इज बायोजियोकेमिकल साइकिल्स वी हैव सीन दैट देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ बायोजियोकेमिकल साइकिल्स गैसियस साइकिल्स एंड सेडिमेंटरी साइकिल्स सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट कार्बन साइकिल एंड वाटर साइकिल इफ यू वांट टू चेक दोज वीडियोज लिंक्स आर प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट नाइट्रोजन साइकिल लेट्स टॉक अबाउट नाइट्रोजन साइकिल so nitrogen cycle is the process where nitrogen is converted into several forms and circulated among living organisms and atmosphere so nitrogen is an essential compound of our life right it is very essential compound now the atmosphere is the reservoir of free gaseous nitrogen but living organisms except some bacteria cannot use nitrogen directly so it has to be converted into usable compound that is ammonia so let's see the stages of nitrogen cycle and the first stage is nitrogen fixation so reduction of nitrogen to ammonia is called nitrogen fixation this reduction is done by three methods first is biological nitrogen fixation then we have industrial nitrogen fixation and electrical nitrogen fixation so in nature lightning and ultraviolet radiation provide enough energy to convert nitrogen to ammonia and industrial combustions automobile exhausts and power generating stations are also sources of atmospheric ammonia and then biologically nitrogen fixation occurs in the root nodules of leguminous plants here a nitrogen fixing bacteria such as rhizobium occur in symbiotic association such bacteria are called nitrogen fixers and the enzyme that is called nitrogenase nitrogenase enzyme is capable of reducing nitrogen into ammonia and this nitrogenase enzyme is present exclusively in prokaryotes next step is nitrification so the conversion of ammonia into nitrate is called nitrification so in this process what happens so the ammonia is oxidized to nitrite by the presence of bacteria that is nitrosomas which is present in soil and this nitrite is further oxidized to nitrate with the help of soil bacteria nitrobacter and this conversion is actually crucial since ammonia gas is toxic for plants next process is assimilation so the nitrate which is now formed is absorbed by plants and is transported to the leaves now in leaves it forms the amine group of amino acids and finally proteins and primary consumers eat those plants and in this way nitrogen enters the food web and the next step is ammonification so when plants or animals die 
the nitrogen that is present in their body in the form of various organic matters is released back into the soil. Microorganisms which are called decomposers convert the organic matters back into ammonia in the soil. And the next step is denitrification. Okay, so denitrification is the process in which ammonia gas is converted into nitrite and then nitrate and finally into gaseous nitrogen. This process is carried out by the presence of certain soil bacteria such as Pseudomonas and Thiobacillus and nitrogen then escapes to the atmosphere. In this way, nitrogen gets released to the atmosphere again. So, here we have the schematic presentation. So, we can see that nitrogen fixation is occurring here in three ways where nitrogen is converted into ammonia and then we can see here it is the nitrification process. This is the nitrification process where ammonia is oxidized into nitrate and then this is the assimilation process where plants absorb nitrate from the soil and then this is the decaying process then it is the ammonification and lastly it is the denitrification process. So in this way the nitrogen cycle is occurring in the nature. Now let's talk about the significance of nitrogen cycle. So first of all nitrogen is essential compound of life. Second nitrogen cycle is essential for living organisms since it helps to convert toxic ammonia into its usable form. Next it helps plants to synthesize chlorophyll from nitrogen. Next, decomposers break down dead animal and plant's body which is indirectly beneficial since it cleans our environment. Next, nitrates and nitrites are released into soil which is beneficial for the crop cultivation since it increases the soil fertility. 